This dog came in with vomiting and diarrhea this morning. What could be happening to this dog? Let's take a look and find out. This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video for vet students and pet owners, sponsored by Topio Vets. In this video, we will be discussing about the diagnosis and treatment of a case of acute hemorrhagic gastroenteritis in a dog. Acute hemorrhagic gastroenteritis is an inflammation of the stomach and intestines, leading to several times of bloody diarrhea and vomiting. April 92014, Wednesday, 10:10 uh, 10 a.m. The weight is 8.05 kilogram. Will you bring the dog up? Come. Bring the dog up. Always weigh the dog. Now some vets don't do it, so I mean this is. One thing it has to be done is part of the systematic process. Uh, some vets say they probably don't feel feel that it doesn't need to be done. Now, okay, today is zero nine zero four one three. Stay. What's the history now? Okay, what happened? How many? What happened to the dog actually? Um, first, first day. He started um yesterday. He started um yesterday. Yeah, yeah yesterday he started um eight or four. Like uh, have like diarrhea kind of thing uh. It was a uh, very brown liquid that just came out. No solid. It was just brown liquid that kept coming out. So he How many know, times? Uh, a few times, about three yes, or four times. Uh. About three or four times. And then after that, right, um, mm -hmm. in the night, he then no kept, vomiting at the time. Uh, no vomiting at all. And then he continued doing that. And after that, uh, in the night. Wait, yesterday, what time did you say that? Something? What time? Because he starts about 4 something. Uh. 4 pm. Mm -hmm. Okay, then after that. Then yeah. after that, about, uh, eight, about 8 something, I, re I realized that the stool got blood. Blood? Uh. The stool got blood, yeah. That's why I was worried. Yeah. So he started just passing out like brownish and red blood, you know, like uh, like mixture of like you know diarrhea, stool and then and, and blood as well, like. And no vomiting. Uh, no vomiting yet. Yeah. Yeah. But at the time he just like foaming like, cause you know foaming cause he didn't really he didn't eat whole day yeah. Uh. So it was really foaming in the mouth uh. So he still continue uh, still continue pooing and then uh, with blood like, you not know, watery blood watery. How many and times after that? Wow. Non stop. Yeah, night, like night, um, night that I know it was about five, five times like that. Um, and after that, whatever he, after the jab, right, when he came back, whatever he drank, he vomited out. So whenever he drank water, he vomited. Drank, vomited, drank water. That one happened about like seven times like that. Vomiting sometimes, huh? Yeah. So the, the nurse told me that if he goes back, he still diarrhea, I can, I can start the diarrhea medicine on him, you see. But when I gave him the diarrhea medicine, immediately he, he vomited out everything. Oh, so he did the medication, uh. Mm. Yeah, so after that, so we didn't give him the medicine or so, and he didn't eat, he didn't, you know, so he just, we just let him drink water. Yeah, yeah. Every time so he drinks, temperature, 38.9, 38.9, uh, so it shows that there's no fever, okay, no fever. Okay, so continue with your history. Yeah, so after that, um, yeah, there's I will bring up blood there. Yeah. yeah, because he's been there's passing blood, out blood. Yeah, there's blood here, definitely. Yeah. So sometimes they dilate too many times, there will be blood. Okay, has the dog been vaccinated? Yeah, vaccinated. Very bloody? Yeah. Not regularly. Yeah. Has he been exposed to other dogs? No. Mm. Like, no, like no, no. dog run or? No, he doesn't go to dog run. Or boarding? No. Or groomer? No. No, huh? No. So no exposure? No exposure to other dogs. So definitely it's blood. Okay, so after the, uh, coming from the vet, it vomited seven times. Any diarrhea at that time? Yeah, still have the diarrhea. How many times? So it's uh, about five times that he passed out. This uh, after nine pm. Uh. Yeah, this was after nine pm. He came back. Um, and I observed him since uh, from eleven plus all the way to four am. Yeah, so he passed. Uh, so he passed out the diarrhea thing about uh, four or five times. Okay, so so the vomiting later. Yeah. Before uh, that, there was no vomiting. Uh. Before there was no vomiting. After he came back from the vet, then he started vomiting any water that he drank. Okay, could it, is it possible that he has taken some poison like the taking the your the old do the ticking? Uh. No, no, we no. don't. Huh? We don't, we don't. You don't, you don't do any of those No, sorts. I don't. Do you drink something poisonous? No. He normally drink at home the water only. Water, yeah, there's no abdominal pain. But there's some sound you can hear there. Mm. Yeah, when he's breathing, is very labored. You know, okay, I think that, that whining noise. There's some right? sound, yeah, from the... There you can hear the sound. Yeah, so yeah. there's some pain. Uh, in the liver and stomach area. The yeah. urine is okay? How's the urine? Uh, he just... Still yellowish. Uh. Yellowish. Uh. He just urinated. Uh, five minutes ago. Okay, before this, uh, 
diarrhea was, was the appetite good? Yeah. His appetite is very good, usually. Before that. Yeah, yeah. normally his appetite is very good. Yeah. But then he stopped eating since yesterday. Mm. He drinks a lot of water, no? Mm. Yeah. yeah, normal. His normal intake of water. Normal. This is this one's growth there, but the one is not, not related to this. How old is the dog now? 12. This is a male or female? Male. Neutered, right? Yeah, yeah. neutered here by you. Yeah, <laughs> long, right? yeah you remember? And now we check the gums. I think you have to count this. Huh? No. So we check the gum first. See whether it's pink or not. This gum is a bit purplish. Probably due to dehydration, this is not. Uh, yeah, speaking of the, the, yeah, speaking of the uh, dehydration part, at about 3 plus at that, right, uh, we actually called a receptionist to us to stop giving him water la, because he keep puking everything out and say, let the stomach rest. Uh, <coughs> and he calls you drink water into the toilet. Does he like to, to take all sorts of rubbish like the, the bone? Every time he go down, says, sometimes he'll take rubbish. Yeah, 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 sometimes he see it here. Quickly, you can bite and swallow. Yeah. But then, hardly, because at times we see we'll, we'll stop him. Yeah, so he must have, have uh, got lucky and, and, and yeah, it was yeah. something like, in the grass. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So mm. it, it, how about the dustbin? No, dustbin, no. He goes down to the grass one day twice uh, to do his business. Yeah, mm. at grass and. and so sometimes in the grass or actually on the, 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 on the pavement or whatever, yeah, if there's some rubbish or what, sometimes you just pick and eat. Really mm. big. So this this would be the, the reason he's got this. Uh, Diarrhea, yeah, 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 yeah,
from the from the soil. Um, some of these soil bacteria they, they do cause a very severe infection. Mm. Other than that, is he still walking? Yeah. Tired. He's, he's very, very tired. tired. Like you can see, he's very weak. Yeah. He's okay. very tired. So uh, that's that's the uh, that's how we would deal with this case. Huh? Because the dog has not been recently vaccinated and has been having bloody diarrhea for the past few hours, we decided to do the test to check for the virus or any kind of bacteria. We decided to do a test to check whether the canine parvo virus was there. As you can see, it turned out negative. And if it was positive, it would be two lines. However, in the video, it shows one line, which means it's negative. The IV drip that we gave was a Hartman solution IV drip. This drip will help you prevent the dog from getting a dehydration and also give it antibiotics and anti-diarrhea. This will also help the intestines and stomach to relax and recover from the irritation it got from the vomiting and diarrhea. We then left it on a dufelite drip which actually contains vitamin B complex, electrolytes, amino acid and dextrose. This will help the dog get the nutrients it needs. We left it on these two drips for the reason that the stomach was and the intestines was not feeling very well and couldn't digest. On the next day, on April the 10th, the dog was then discharged with antibiotics and anti-diarrhea medicine. The drips have helped it re recover and therefore was released from its hospitalization. The owner was happy and took the dog home. April 11, 2014, 11.15 a.m. 11.15 a.m. So what happened to the dog after you went home? Uh, yes, uh, I went home and then I uh, gave him a little bit of water. Then he drank the water. Then uh, I gave him half a can of the ID. So he gave straight away. Also. Yeah, because he was like a bit hungry then uh, with the I with the uh, he, he gave me the antibiotics, right? Correct, correct. Yeah, so I broke antibiotics and then mixed it with the food and let him eat. Yeah, so after eating he was still like, you know, still greedy. Still hungry, yeah, still hungry, but I didn't feed him anymore. Yeah, yeah because he didn't let the stomach. Yeah, the stomach recover correct. from the inflammation. Uh, yes, correct. Then after that, the so next after day, that, he, he yes, went, overnight he, was sleeping. He overnight was sleeping. Then the next day. Yeah, then the next day, then uh, I bring him down. Then he 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 pee, and then uh, he he urinated, and then he pee. Then I saw his stool. Uh, it was like a bit uh a bit soft, eh? Yeah, but uh, at the at the tail end, I saw there was some a little bit of blood. Do you eat chicken bones or not? No, no. Or oh, maybe you pick it from the grass. No, no, no. no. That I will never know, but sometimes he's quite greedy. Uh. Sometimes when he, you know, when he walk with him, when he sees something, he just boom, quickly, he just swallow it. It's a like, fresh blood, right? Uh, you yeah. say it's soft. Huh? Yeah, yeah, fresh blood. Uh, so I think it's still the after effect of that. Yeah, if it's fresh blood, it could be a bit of chicken bone or some something stuck in the rectal area, I see. Oh, okay. Te tearing the rectum, so there's a bit of fresh blood, but of fresh blood. Oh, okay. Is it a fresh one? Reddish? Reddish. Red, bright red blood. Ra. Uh, so you might have still the tears in the mm -hmm. in the rectal area, but it should be recovering uh, since there's mm -hmm. not, not much blood in the stool. Right? No, there's no stool, no no blood in the stool. And it's active, huh? It's active, greedy. Yeah, it's very hungry. <laughs> yeah, very hungry. It's due to the the recovery yes, stage. Yes, huh? correct. But I didn't I didn't overfeed him. Just gave half a can again, with together with the antibiotics. So okay. So normally this dog is about one can, you know. So mm. it can be half can three yeah, times I'll a day. I'll give later if uh, Or half can three times a day, but uh, it's best not to keep the can in the fridge and then uh, the best is to give as soon as possible rather okay. than uh, keep it too long in the fridge. Okay. Then other than that, uh, you have to put it on a leash so that it doesn't uh, go mm. around. Picking rubbish, yeah. Uh, which you didn't do, right, I presume. Sorry? You didn't? Normally put I don't put it on the leash, yeah. Normally yeah. Just, he just walks freely, but we watch him very closely. Uh. Yeah. But it's too late uh, when he's swallowed. Yeah, sometimes he's a bit too fast. Uh, yeah. Because sometimes he picks up something he's straight away, you know. Because he knows that when I catch him, uh, you know, eating on something, he knows he'll get, he get smacked, you know. So he will quickly like, swallow same, it. Same with my son's dog, same. Yeah. Yeah, something drawn on the floor, then he will yeah, quickly, quickly swallow the very quickly. catch him, yeah. Yeah, correct. Even so, bones or so, they just swallow. Oh, no, he's they, not one who eats bones. No, a small piece of bone, he just swallow, is it? Um, he he's not know? one that he did, but no. that. Like to eat bones and all this, he doesn't. No, I mean on the grass. So on then, the then grass. Bones, uh, so he, he might. Maybe, maybe. But I, I noticed that he doesn't eat soil, but I noticed he got this very bad habit. He likes to lick urine. 
means are the dogs pee, you know, he likes to he, he likes to pee, lick on it. And he is this his habit since young. Yeah, the only must stop. I tried to but he's always still doing it. He's still doing it. I don't know why. Does he eat stools or other dogs? No, stools? no, he doesn't eat stool. Just that I noticed he likes to lick the urine of other dogs, you know. Okay. Is this a normal habit behavior? No, not normal, but uh, it's from puppyhood. From puppyhood. Is it did you stop him? We stop! Every time we smack him, he still he still does it. I don't know why. Every oh, time so we puppy still... Like, a puppy, puppy like, look, yeah. he still does it, yeah. Because yeah. But we always... Oh, so he doesn't drink that one urine, but... Yeah, oh, no, he doesn't, oh. he doesn't. But he likes to win, sniff on other urine and lick on it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, then sometimes, I mean, whenever I see, I will, I will smack yeah, him. Yeah, there may be bacteria in the other dog's Correct. urine. Correct, that's so why, I mean, this, we don't encourage it, is it? This problem, is it? This Correct. Like, Silently. Yeah. Maybe, possibly. How about for me, for me in the mouth? No. No for no, me in the mouth? No, already. No, I mean, when, when he started the foaming in the mouth? The day when he started, uh, you know, having very bad diarrhea. Then he At started. the beginning, before diarrhea? Bef- in a in the daytime, when, in the beginning when he had diarrhea, he didn't foam yet. Then it, towards later in the night, then he started foaming. Oh, okay. Mm. So we don't know exactly what, what poison he may have taken. I, uh, that's the thing. I, I really don't know what he has taken. So overall it's okay, so the dog has recovered. And uh, it's, a, it's a happy outcome. Uh, not, not all dogs are like that. Some of them just die yeah. from the bleeding. Uh, but the diarrhea. Okay, so it was back. April 11, 11.45 a.m., the vet advised to owner over a call. He gave these following advices. Firstly, to feed water to the dog over several times a day in small amounts of water rather than having a huge bowl of water there to aid in the recovery process. Secondly, to continue feeding the ID can food to the dog for the next seven days, half a can per meal, so one can per day. The owner did also reply to the vet that there's no more vomiting and the dog is back to his active hungry self, which means it's a happy and good outcome.